Thank you for checking out crypto.chartguys.com, the source for technical analysis in the cryptocurrency world. We are proud to announce our own crypto alert system designed to give you the most critical technical trading information possible no matter where you are. Keep your eyes on the market with mobile or email alerts for MACD crosses, RSI levels, and even inside bar alerts for dozens of coins across multiple exchanges. New features and proprietary chart guys indicators are already in development. Our alert system is very easy to customize and utilize, so don't hesitate to sign up for the most effective crypto trading tool on the market at crypto.chartguys.com. Hello, crypto friends. Hope you're doing well this long holiday weekend. So we're going to be looking at the big three here, and it's pretty much up to the bulls to prove themselves. It's prove it time tonight for the bulls to get over these resistance levels and break the four hour time frame. I like what we are. I like the setup the most visually on the four hour time frame, which we'll look in just a minute. And it has to break the lower high pattern on the four hour time frame for proof. That's the, what we need for the bulls to prove themselves. And there's been some nice gains, a, a bounce last night. Took my profit on ETH, took most of it. I still have a small position and uh, still holding that just because I want to have a piece if we do see a bull break. And if we don't, it's a small enough position that I have plenty of cash to be managing that position. So we're going to go through a lot of things here. First, we'll start with Bitcoin trying to form a bullish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame. This candlestick closes in a couple hours. The longer the lower wick, the better. But again, it's all about the four hour time frame for me. It's just so clear when you have so many lower highs. So let's pull out all these lower highs and see where we stand. So lower high, two, three, four, five. I could do this all night. Six, seven. And we'll see. We're probably going to form eight. I anticipate eight is about to form. So that's going to give us the potential on ETH and LTC. We have a four hour equilibrium set, set up potentially there, not on Bitcoin because we did drop to a lower low. So it's still four hour lower highs. Again, all of these levels have not broken day after day of lower highs until that changes. The bears have complete control of this trend. So while there are nice profit opportunities in the short term on these bounces, Again, the trend is bearish, so lower highs and lower lows continue. And what these little bounces do is they completely cool off the RSI. So the RSI last night was 22 on the four-hour time frame. We saw one candlestick of bounce, and it took it to 35. And that allowed for a significant pullback and a lower low just barely getting oversold again. So every short-term bounce cools off the RSI for another potential leg to the downside. So we have to remain cautious, even if we do break, well, really at this point, 12 period and 26 period exponential moving average. If we tighten up into an equilibrium pattern, by the time we would see a break there, we would likely be right at those exponential moving averages as well. And they would have to break and turn into support in order for that bull break to follow through. But that's looking a little bit ahead. Really, it's all about tonight. Are we going to form a lower high because of the magnitude that the bounce would have to see to break the last lower high of resistance at 7,275? The answer, in my opinion, is yes, we are more likely to set a lower high and continuing to tighten into tonight. And perhaps in about 12 to 16 hours from now, we will get a little bit more clarity on this pattern. So if we zoom in on the hourly time frame, the bulls have seen a decent bounce. But again, five green hours in a row. It's very unlikely that after five green hours, the bulls are going to make their way up another couple, another $400 to test that resistance. So at this point, Bears still have control. Bulls have the ability to position themselves to get in for a potential bounce opportunity. But there's two sets of bulls. The first are the ones that scale in on the way down and look for the bounce. And the second are the more cautious bulls that wait for the break in the trend. So if you are less comfortable trading and, you know, looking for a more clear signal, it's the four hour time frame having to shift to favor those bulls for any kind of bounce to get going. And even when that happens, the the daily time frame is still going to set a lower high. So we will eventually lose the four hour higher low pattern, and it's not going to be a very long term bounce. So again, I'm looking days out right now. As far as here and now, it's all about the four hour lower highs. Ethereum, Bullish reversal candlestick trying to form on the daily time frame. Obviously, it's the most oversold. It has been for quite some time. We look at the four-hour time frame. It, too, is still forming clear lower highs. And I can do the same thing going back. Won't do as many, but just clear lower highs. Every bounce attempt that sees no follow-through is a lower high. And I'm not going to draw one there yet because it's not clear if we're pulling back. Look at the MACD. Let's go back to Bitcoin real quick. Four-hour MACD cross, not as close. Again, we're going to have to break an equilibrium, in my opinion, to see a bull MACD and get over exponential resistance. Ethereum is already testing this exponential resistance. So same thing, it would turn into it 
turn it into support if we get a bull break. We're already right here for the MACD cross, and we have a higher low, so it is an equilibrium. We have our low of support. Our higher low is 368.03, and we're watching resistance now of 411. Anything under 411 is a lower high, but the bulls are going to see an increase in volume this candlestick, and I can say that confidently because we have just about, we're just over halfway finished this candlestick. Yesterday, our last candlestick here was 33,000 volume, and this one is almost 19,000. So, well, I shouldn't say it's a sure thing, but it will likely see higher volume, and that's just because the candlestick has not has a lot of time before it closes. So let's zoom into the hourly time frame here as well. A big bull move in a row, and unlikely we're going to be able to head back to that resistance level without some hourly consolidation. Going to be watching for the potential 12 and 26 bull MACD cross, but again, bottom line, all down to the four hour time frame, breaking the lower highs, because at no point in the last few days has there been any signal. We will have to be cautious of the potential of this kind of bounce that happened back in Mar on March 18th, where we had a higher low and a higher high, but that didn't do anything for the daily chart, and we just fell back down again. So the daily chart has to confirm with confidence bullish reversal candlesticks. We have to see increasing bull volume on the confirmation candlestick. That was the red flag for me last night and why I took profit in Ethereum. When we had a bullish reversal candlestick on the four hour time frame, no confirmation and follow through. We need two green candlesticks in a row, ideally with increasing bull volume if we want any hope of this bounce to last a couple days. So volume and follow through and confirmation candlesticks are important. So my entry into Ethereum last night was scaling in as I always do and allowing a lot of control of my position. So what I was doing was scaling in. I probably made three flips at least where I would scale in initially and I would build my position. And then as the bounce started, I would take a little bit of profit. And what that little bit of profit allows me to do is it essentially lowers my cost basis for the remaining coins in what my break even price would be. So let's say I entered at, you know, 397 here. If I sell a small portion with some profit, I can then put my stop loss below the low that we saw, and it would be a break-even stop loss because I locked in some profit. That's just a rough example there. I didn't start scaling in until this uh, drop right down here, and I was filled in the three, I think my first fill was 390.10, then I got filled uh, 386.10 maybe 383.10. Again, same thing. We saw this bounce and I took some profit and that allowed me to scale in further down and lower that cost basis. So at this point, at no point last night did I enter more than 50% of my stack. And that's just because I wanted to be protective. And again, I, I was sleeping like a baby last night. I woke up every two hours to keep an eye on things, but I had no stress whatsoever and I didn't need stop losses on my position because we were at such extreme levels and I had so much cash left to manage my positions that I was not concerned at all. You know, if the hourly RSI is down at 20 and I've got a lot of cash able to average down comparative to the current position I have, I'm not worried at all because I know that bounce is inevitable eventually unless there's FUD news that were to come out. We historically consistently bounce from those RSI levels. So eventually... Ended up uh, going to bed and scaled some more orders in. I think my lowest fill was in the uh, mid 360s and I was getting filled at 370.10. Again, just going just above psychological level levels, got filled at 380.10 and uh, just managing the position. I took profit last night on some of this bull move and day after day, I've been making profit. I think I'm uh, four for my last four trades just on these small bounces and locking in that profit. And, you know, it's no big gains. It's not the huge gains that I'm used to seeing in cryptocurrency months ago, but it's enough that if I'm consistently doing it, you know, what more can I hope for being a bull in a bear market? Just a little bit more green every single day is the ideal. So we pulled back on Ethereum. We did hold support. This was a nice bottom fishing play. I was not at my computer to take advantage of it this morning. And now we're watching this four hour equilibrium pattern. So I exited the vast majority of my position, added a little bit on consolidation, and now where I'm standing, my, let's see, my entry price average is probably in the upper 370s. And again, just very comfortable, patient, not rushing into anything because the four-hour chart still forming lower highs and the potential for that equilibrium pattern to form is more likely than not, in my opinion. Checking in on Litecoin. Litecoin daily chart also trying a bullish reversal candlestick. There's an upper wick of profit taking, so it's not a, exactly a very convincing candlestick. We look at the four hour for more details, but it too is forming an equilibrium pattern and the same thing, lower high after lower high on this four hour time frame. And we did get a bull break of one lower high here on Litecoin, but obviously it didn't go anywhere because last night we didn't get any confirmation. We had an inside bar bear break and a higher low formed with a bullish doji. 
So same thing, we're trying to follow through now. We had our low of the bottom at 109.27. Our higher low is 112.56. That's the must hold level. And key resistance is the top of the bounce, 126.91. The odds that the bulls are gonna be able to head right from here up to break that resistance is not likely in my opinion. We're gonna be watching for this equilibrium pattern. So that's where we stand as we head into tonight, hourly time frame. Nice little increase in bull volume on Litecoin. But again, the distance that we have to go is too far, in my opinion, to see that without some consolidation along the way. So it's all about the bulls. The bulls have to prove themselves. The bears are comfortable riding the trend. RSI levels have set off or have reset to the point to definitely allow another leg to the downside. So we have to anticipate that that is a possibility and be able to manage our positions either by stopping out or you know having the game plan established for if we see lower lows, what are we going to do? So we'll check back in. And by the time we check back in tomorrow, we will likely have seen how this break is going to occur from this sideways trading right now. If it is a bear break, my same criteria stand. I'm waiting. I will be all cashed if we get a bear break. And I'll be waiting for hourly RSI on Bitcoin to be down in the mid to lower 20s, which is going to take a big drop to get down there from here at least. So if we were to see weakness, you know, the price probably would have to go to 64, 6300 before this hourly RSI would get to a point of me getting comfortable scaling back in again. So four hour time frame again, it cooled off the RSI. If we were to drop back down, this would get down to the low 20s around the 6400 area as well. And of course, the daily chart, if we were to see continued weakness, would get down into the 28, 27 range, perhaps. So that's something again, I'm, I'm having a plan for all scenarios. If we see a bull break, I will add to my position a bit. And I will be comfortable doing so because I already have a position and my cost basis will be pretty low comparative to the current price if the break occurs. If I had no position and I was looking to initiate a position on the four hour lower high break, I would need to be a little bit more cautious because we know the bulls haven't been seeing much follow through from those breaks. And of course, I just went over the scenario. If we get a bear break, what I would be waiting for in terms of RSI levels, waiting for the trade to come to me and being very picky. So I appreciate you all watching. That's the wrap up for today. Not expecting a whole lot of fireworks until a few hours from now at the earliest. And we will look for spikes in volume to indicate spikes in volatility coming. I appreciate you all watching. Hope you have a good, happy weekend, happy do good things stuff. I uh, got in touch with the farmhand that I mentioned in a recent video Got in touch with my friend who's close enough to go meet with him. So I think that's going down next week and got the check out there as well. So that's going to follow through, it looks like, which is awesome. And it's going to be hard to top that one. I got to get creative, but that's a fun problem to have. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you tomorrow.